Google Merchant Center customer reviews. They look fantastic on your shopping ads. How do you set them up? I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it in this video. Let's go. I get asked this a lot, so I'm going to show you in this video how to set up customer reviews in Google Merchant Center. It is super easy. Google Merchant Center customer reviews are awesome because they build social proof, they help with your click-through rate, and they just look fantastic on your Google Shopping ads. If you're new here, my name is Sam, and I make a lot of tutorials, case studies, strategy videos on how to grow your e-commerce store remotely. Please consider subscribing and follow along as I grow my own stores and show you exactly how I do it. Okay, so what are the requirements to getting customer reviews in Google Merchant Center? One, you need at least 50 reviews across your whole store. Two, have a Merchant Center account and sign up for the feature. And three, product reviews in a format that Google accepts. Hey guys, Sam here from keycommerce.com and now we're in Google Merchant Center. Let's get those reviews enabled. Okay, so we go over here to growth and then we go to manage programs. Okay, once we're in the manage program screen, you have all these extra programs and stuff that you can enable. We wanna scroll down to the very bottom and then go to product ratings. This is what you need to do, okay? You need to fill out this form here and get approved by Google before they'll let you see and upload and connect in your reviews, okay? So you need to fill out this form. So how many reviews do you have? So go to your site, check whatever review aggregator you're using and, and add in how many reviews, sorry, that you have. Name of your, your store, your merchant ID, your merchant homepage URL. Basically fill out all this stuff here. It's got all my information. <laughs> And then, but you're gonna fill out your own information uh, role. And then do you currently collect reviews on your site? Yes or no, click submit. There you go, that's how you get started. You do need 50 reviews already. And so put that in if you have 50 and then submit and then you're good to go. It does take some time, sometimes a day, sometimes three days in our experience. Once you get reviewed, you'll then be able to see an option in your Merchant Center account to see the reviews section, basically. Now that we're approved, this doesn't actually give us customer reviews we need to get them imported in into Merchant Center. Okay, so I'll outline the ways we can do this and then I'll walk you through each one. The first way and the free way is to use Google's review collection program to collect the reviews. The benefits are that it's really easy to set up and it's free. The negatives are you can't import past reviews. With many other software programs that you can use for your reviews, you can actually import as a CSV file all the past reviews that you may have collected over the years or even in the last couple of months. With the Google Reviews program, you can't do this. You have to collect re reviews from today. The second negative is that it only requests reviews from customers that have already opted in. When a customer goes to your thank you page, they're gonna get a box that says, hey, do you want to opt in to give feedback later? And not every customer is going to tick yes. So it means that you're only going to request reviews from some of your customers, which means it's gonna take longer and longer to actually get enough reviews to make this worthwhile. The third negative is that it's a worse customer experience, in my opinion. If you go with a paid app, you can customize all the emails and the whole experience of requesting a review, even the language, so it best suits what your brand is and how you communicate with your target market. The Google Reviews program sends a templated email that you can't edit and you just have to accept it, but it is free. The second way is a paid way and that's using a reviews aggregator, basically a software that you plug into your store and it collects reviews for you. The benefits are, I say it's even easier to set up, but I'm gonna walk you through that anyway. The second benefit is that you send it to every single customer, whether they opt in or not. The third benefit is you can import past reviews. This is insanely powerful, really, really powerful, especially if you already have an eBay store, Etsy store, Amazon store, and you wanna import those reviews into your Shopify store, man, you can get social proof right out the gate. And I've seen stores get a massive bump in conversion rate just by importing their past reviews from their old platforms. The fourth benefit is that you can customize the branding of the emails and how you communicate with these people. This can have a substantial impact on the conversion rate of collecting these reviews because you're talking to people as who they are. The negatives, obviously it's the cost. You're gonna have to pay a monthly fee or whatever it is for this software, but in my opinion, depending on the size of your store, it's really worth it. If you're just testing out the waters of e-commerce and learning the ropes, I wouldn't recommend it. But if you're taking your store seriously, then a reviews aggregator is gonna make life a lot easier. It's not just for Google Merchant Center either. You're gonna be using this app over your whole store, but a lot of these apps like stamp.io, which I talk about today, make it really easy to display those reviews on your website in a really nice way that shows the value of the products to your customers. Okay, I'm gonna show you the freeway with Google 
and then I'm going to show you the paid way that I recommend too. Okay, depending on your approach, there's going to be a bunch of links that you'll need access to. I'm going to leave a link in the description to a page that has all the links there so you can access them really easy. Just check the description down below. Okay, let's get into my computer and let's set up the Google customer reviews. Hey guys, Sam here from keycommerce.com. I'm now in my computer again and I'm gonna show you how to activate the Google customer review collection app process sort of thing. So we're in Merchant Center right here. Let's go down to growth and let's go down to manage programs again. So we should have already activated the product ratings. Now we're gonna to go to the customer review section and then click enable. It's gonna give you this agreement here. Make sure you read that. Uh, click I read and then continue once it loads up. Awesome. So now what it does is it gives us this code that we need to go and edit now and put that on our website. Now I've created a blog post for this video. It's in the description. Check the description for that link. Go to the blog post and I've actually edited this code for you so it's pretty much ready to use. You just need to edit a little things before we put it on your website. Let me pull it up for you one second. Okay, so here we have the code that will be on my blog post here and it has these variables here that are made by Shopify so it can pull in the different details. So you see in comparison here, it's very, very similar but it means for the order ID, it'll pull it in dynamically. So if every single order that someone makes on your website, this gets shown on the thank you page. They don't actually see this code but there'll be a pop-up and this tells Google the right information that is required to make this whole thing work. So it pulls in all this sort of stuff here. The only thing you need to really change is firstly the merchant ID, really important. See here, it has the merchant ID. Just put in exactly what that is there. So what I would do is copy that and then paste this here. You're gonna have this code here, but it's gonna be the XXX. You're gonna change that to your merchant center um, ID. The other thing is the estimated delivery date. So what this does here is it actually creates the year, the month and the day, but based on when the order was created and then you can add a delay. So if someone orders today, you don't wanna send the review collection email today because then people are going, people are, haven't even received the product yet. So you wanna wait some time. So what I've done is I've created this Google Sheet here and you'll get access to this in that blog post and this is basically a calculator so you can put in so at the moment it's got in seven days here which is just the default in this formula what you can do here is say that even if maybe they get this they always get the product within one day you can change this to three days and then that's the total seconds and then you would just replace that there so that's how long Google is going to wait after someone orders before they send them the review email. Now that that's done, and that's gonna be, you know, you have to think about how that works for your store. Now that that's done, we then copy that code and that's all ready to go. We then pull up our Shopify dashboard right here. And then we're gonna go into settings. We're gonna go into checkout. And then we're gonna scroll all the way down until we see additional scripts. Once you paste that in, that's then gonna be all ready to go. Awesome, fantastic. I'm actually gonna, that was actually a bit of something I was gonna show you in a second, but basically, yeah, there's the code there. And just take note that first time access, this is really, really great thing for Shopify. It means that if someone goes back to review the order and review the thank you page, it's not gonna reset so they receive multiple emails. They only wanna receive one email for their order. And this means that it, this will only be fired if it's the first time someone has reached that thank you page. So that's all good, boom, and then just click save, and then that's, that's activated now and that's everything you need to do to get those reviews sorted. That's all awesome. And then once it, it's uh, verified, once it's it, it, it starts collecting those reviews, you can actually test to see if your reviews are active by going to this URL that will be in the blog post as well and then putting in your store here. So this is one of, one of um, the stores that I work with. And you can see here that um, they have all these reviews that are being collected, but they're being collected by a review app, basically. But if it's being collected by that app with Google, it's gonna start showing here. So you can check that for yourself. So there you go. That's how you install the code for the free Google customer reviews collection app. Hey guys, so now I'm in Merchant Center and I'm gonna set up the stamp.io product reviews feed straight from stamp.io 
into Merchant Center. So let's do it right now. So I'm in the dashboard here. And now after, after filling out that form that you've filled out earlier in this video, you should now have access to product reviews under marketing. This is exactly what we need right here. This is for product ratings. So it says your account is eligible for product ratings. Woohoo! Your star ratings will be displayed on your product listings. So they're on your Google shopping ads. So let's go here over to product reviews feeds. I had a feed that I added in uh, earlier, but we're gonna create a new one here, just like you would do. The feed name is gonna be stamped.io, scheduled fetch. Awesome, the file name is going to be uh, your need, your, well, here's what you need to get the file name. So basically you need to log into stamp.io. I'm logged into my account right here and then go to this URL. So I'm gonna put this URL in my blog post here. Once you put that in, it then opens up the settings into the SEO section and then you can scroll down here to Google Shopping and if you've upgraded to the plan, you'll be able to access the Google Shopping reviews. Here is your feed URL. See, it's an XML file. So go back, let's put that all the way down here. But the file name is going to be here and it's going to be uh, basically the pub key oh, and .xml. So you should get that last basically that last uh, bit of text there. So boom, all the way to XML and we don't need that dash there. Awesome. So the basically the, uh, the, the daily frequency of fetching it is gonna be daily. That's fine, 12 a.m. That's just when it's gonna fetch it. That doesn't matter too much. And that's gonna be blank and blank. And then you're gonna click create feed. Fantastic. We now have our feed imported like that. And then um, once that goes, um, is added in, it's now processing. So once it takes a few minutes, but you can also click fetch now to fetch that feed. And then it's gonna tell you if there are any issues. Now this is a feed specifically made by stamp.io. So if you do have any problems, you can, uh, they've got really fantastic support over there and I've dealt with them so many times and they're really good at helping to fix these issues with the feed so you can get it set up really quickly. They'll even go in and make edits to your feed, uh, your, your product reviews feed um, to make sure it uh, matches what Google needs. So that's how you set up the stamp.io feed. There you go. Okay, we've now set up customer reviews in Google Merchant Center. That wasn't too bad, was it? If you have any questions about this process, please just leave a comment and I'll answer you as soon as I can. If this video helped you set up your customer reviews in Merchant Center, please give it a like. That tells YouTube that I'm making great content for my audience out there. If you want to learn more about how you can grow your store remotely, more tutorials just like this one, marketing strategies, operations, all that sort of stuff, please consider subscribing. I release videos very regularly on how to grow your e-commerce store remotely. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.